Well, hello again, Joe Brownlee here, Supplemental Instruction Leader for Palm Beach State College Intermediate Algebra, and welcome back to our final exam review series for Intermediate Algebra. And you're tuning in to question number two, so let's get right to it. Again, let's go ahead and read our directions, and they are find the slope and the y-intercept of the following equation. All right, question number two. And the given equation here is x minus 4y equals negative 20. All right, let's go ahead and put that aside and work on the given equation. Well, hopefully you will recognize that this is very similar to question number one, except they don't want us to graph it. So that saves us an extra step. And really all they are asking us to do is take this equation, which is in standard form, and put it into y equals mx plus b so that we can easily identify our slope and y-intercept, which is what they're asking. Slope and y-intercept. All right, and again, we're going to put this in y equals mx plus b, which as we talked about in question one is known as the slope intercept form, where m is my slope and b is my y intercept. All right, so let's go ahead and solve for y so that we can uh, get it into slope-intercept form. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract x from both sides. And when I do that, I am left with negative 4y on the left equals negative x minus 20 on the right. And then lastly, I'm going to go ahead and divide by negative 4 on both sides so that I can isolate my y on the left and then on the right I'm going to have well I see I have a negative over a negative so I know that I'm going to have a positive slope here but we have to remember that whenever we have a variable and there is no number in front of that variable no coefficient we can pretend there's a one there in that position and so really this is a negative 1 over a negative 4, which just comes out to be a positive 1 over 4. Let's not forget to put our x in. And then we have a negative 20 over a negative 4, which simply reduces to a positive 5. 4 goes into itself once. 4 goes into 20 five times, and so 5 over 1 is simply a 5. And now that my equation has been rewritten into y equals mx plus b, I can easily see that my slope is 1 over 4, and my y-intercept is going to be 0 comma 5. Now let's talk about intercepts for just a second, and, and actually all points in general. Uh, some people might be tempted to say that my y-intercept is just 5. Well, no it's not, because an intercept is an actual point on a grid. And so there's no such thing as a point with just one coordinate. A coordinate has to have uh, a 2. It has to have an x and a y value. And so, um, you know, it can be confusing uh, to just say that your x-intercept is, is 5 because maybe you're trying to say that y equals 5, which is a line. y equals 5 is this line right here, which is different than saying I just want a point at uh, 0, 5. And so just get into the habit when writing your intercepts and, and again, really any point that you have both an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. But at any rate, this is question number two. 
uh, when they ask us for our slope and our y-intercept, our slope is 1 over 4 and our y-intercept is 0 comma 5. All right, well, I hope this was helpful, and I will see you all at question number three. Thanks for tuning in.